respect. Keep respect to your own respect. That's why. Right. Between 1991 to 1997, six years, an office assistant was serving the CEO of the bank, regular refreshments, and the CEO was always pulling him, and he was treating him very bad. When the CEO left, I was taking the responsibility. I was given, asked to take that role. And uh, clearly, the guy who was serving the refreshments was laughing. He came to me, and he was laughing about my predecessor. I asked him why you are laughing. He was your boss for all these years. He laughed at it, and he said, "You know what?" He was harassing me. He was torturing me every day. He treated me very, very bad, and I was offended. It's okay. He's gone, sir. I want to tell you what I did to him. I was spitting every day before serving the coffee. I was spitting in the coffee or tea and giving it to him. He drank my spit. He was laughing. It was cruel to listen. It was a lesson learned. What I did afterwards with him is a different issue. I call. You just put it the position where you belong to. You have to respect human sentiments, human values. Position is incident. Your profession is integral, character is integral. You have to treat whatever be their level, junior or seniors, with the same amount of human dignity, human values, and that's what the message I want to give you. And I practiced throughout my journey. I used to call my secretary even Mister, even the the refreshment boy. The lesson learned was worth it. And otherwise, also as a decent human being who has seen the value of compassion in the personal life, I used to call them as Mister, Sir. 